Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Bibi Chong Loy again and today I have with me someone who is very special and close to my heart who also happens to be my junior in college. Well, he is the first ever Global Mr. Naglen 2021 and he also went on to participate at Mr. Nordis and became the first runner-up along with subtitles and the list go on and on. Please welcome my friend, Donato Jemomi. Thank you, Bibi, for having me, mm -hmm. as well as everyone for tuning in to this role. Um, basically, I don't even feel deserving enough to be like doing any interviews, actually. But then, uh, I think to myself that this is actually a platform that mm -hmm. comes along with the title. Mm -hmm. And I am very much honored and privileged to be able to convey my message this. I did my graduation from Tetsuo College. Mm -hmm. I, uh, that was back in the year 2020 or 2021 during the COVID era. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so uh, PP was my senior, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's correct. We were in the same college, but the irony is that we never met in the campus. I yeah. should have known this guy a long time back because he happens to be very popular. <laughs> no, 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 not really. <laughs> very popular at the same time, very humble and down to earth, which is why I really want him to be on my show. And finally, luckily, he's available today. So we're having this time. And as we communicate, I would like to start off the question with your upcoming plans and projects after becoming Mr. Global Mr. Naglan, mm. first ever Mr. Mm -hmm. Naglan. So do you have any plans to go further like Mr. India, more maybe in the international level? So um, actually, uh, yes, I am indeed the first ever Global Mr. Naglan. Mm -hmm. But if um, I remember, like, Correctly, then Mr. Nugland has. Uh, th there was a pageant called Mr. Nugland, mm -hmm. which was scrapped and then didn't happen again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is that. And then about my future interviews, I, I would say that uh, I have another pageant coming up, the Nationals, uh, called Global Model India, mm -hmm. which is to be held in Pune. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is also more like a qualifiers, the national qualifiers to participate in the international pageant. Uh, which is to be held in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking forward to it and then the, the whole journey itself, it's a, it's a very interesting and adventurous mm -hmm. experience. So yeah, quite excited for everything that's going on that's about to come. I'm very happy for you and I wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Um, you are, you will be proudly representing our state or the Naga people. So you're the pride of Naga. <laughs> so give your best, and we wish you good luck. I'm honored to be receiving those words, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, you being a graduate, and I am a postgraduate, and we both are educated, right? Yeah. So in our society, in our Naga society, people must be expecting us to hunt or go look for a government job are you really interested <laughs> into that <laughs> uh, about that yeah it's um it's quite a thing that's been stigmatized uh, i i believe when, when we talk about government jobs mm -hmm. what is it exactly that the people are attracted to that's what 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 i uh, oftentimes wonder about wonder upon yeah <laughs> so Government jobs have been given this reputation of being respectable mm -hmm. or uh, being well paid and all that. But if you, if you observe closely and then think about it, mm -hmm. then most of the successful people are from private firms, private entrepreneurship or like people who have ventured into business and uh, to, to, to survive on that to survive on one salary alone or like to survive on one particular position mm -hmm. that's not very conventional mm -hmm. though it may be termed as the most conventional way of living mm -hmm. but uh it is not it is not mm -hmm. and then i would encourage people to actually go forward and then find something that you enjoy doing you're passionate about yeah mm -hmm. and then 
if you enjoy something and then you make a living out of it, what's better than that? Mm -hmm. That You're itself, your yeah. Life? That itself is a blessing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, about uh, this stigmatization of uh, government jobs and all this unconventional and conventional ways of living. I, I would uh, my opinion on that is that just do whatever you believe in, do what you're passionate about, and try to make a life out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Worth living. Yeah. Life is worth living when you do things that you love, just yeah. like you and I. I love posting a show, <laughs> listening to other people's story, giving them the platform or opportunity mm -hmm. to express their views, and then you're doing things that you love, which is why you're here today being my special guest. So uh, just like you and I, I really hope and want the youngsters mm -hmm. who are very talented, like uh, good singers, football players, you know, and so many other skills yeah. that they develop, then we can see one, two people making six figures, right, the youngsters. Of so course, why don't you course, take, yeah. you know, you we follow the footsteps, if they can do that, why not us? Because um, our Netherlands state the employment opportunities very less. On the other hand, the applicants is more, right, yeah. for like, 10, 20 vacancies, there are hundreds and thousands of applicants, so naturally the, the unemployment rate will be higher and higher each year, very much, very which is why we need to think other way around. Mm -hmm. And then um, when uh, I was working as an education counselor for quite some time, mm -hmm. and my clients, the people who come to my office, were mostly youngsters, teenagers, frustrated, um, having anxiety, falling mm -hmm. to depression, they have suicidal thoughts and upon asking what is the root cause, it will all come back to these things, parents' expectations. Mm -hmm. They're not good enough to be a government employee. They're not getting the right kind of jobs, so-called stable job that they're looking for. So mm -hmm. how I encourage them is that do more of what makes them happy. It doesn't necessarily have to be necessarily mm. have to be a government job, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you find pleasure in your work, as long as you enjoy your work, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. There is no yeah. competition. We shouldn't compare each other. You're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. Instead of comparing or competing, why don't we encourage each other, right? In that yeah. way, we can live better. <laughs> don't you think so? I, my, my thought on that is that uh, even I myself am I, I would say a victim actually. Mm -hmm. um, so being pressured, having expectations uh, being shouldered upon you, that's quite a lot of pressure. Like that's quite a lot to, uh, yeah. That that's a very big burden to lift actually. Mm -hmm. And especially as a youngster, being pressured from the moment you step your foot into educational system. Yo, being taught, you must become an officer as a child. Mm -hmm. Or you start growing up and then uh, parents will pressure you into appearing for a competitive examination like NPSC, UPSC and all that. Mm -hmm. and whereas um, they don't understand what we're truly passionate about, mm -hmm. what we actually want for ourselves. At the end of the day, it is us who are going to live our lives. Mm -hmm. Sad to say but quite inevitable that um, there will be a time when there won't be any parents. The, the parents will leave. Like, that's how the human life goes. Mm -hmm. they, they, um, they will want, once they, they, they will be, um, I, I don't really want to bring up this uh, word, but uh, yes, de death is inevitable. And then after, after that, we're supposed to fend for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then during that time, who exactly are we taking care of? Mm -hmm. who, who exactly are we living for? Mm -hmm. It is actually you and I, mm -hmm. ourselves, and then as well as our, our family. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, as a parent, it becomes an obligation to mm -hmm. look out for your child. Mm -hmm. But then it should also be a responsibility as a parent to know what is best for your child, to know the mental health of your child, mm -hmm. to to check on whether they are happy or not, if something is bothering them or not. Mm -hmm. And um, our, our society itself has not been in touch with that side of life. Mm -hmm. We have only been taught about uh, 
how do you say it? to to beat the iron when it's hot, no? Okay. Yeah. So we we have been taught to always pursue what our parents want us to, mm -hmm. rather than pursuing something that we want to. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think it's, uh, it's very much high time that we change the perspective. Mm -hmm. We break the stereotypes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it's, um, it's the time for us youngsters to step out of the box and then start living your life in a manner where you look back on yesterday and then be proud of who, who you are today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and striving harder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think hard work, dedication, and all this comes under the same uh, umbrella. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say that uh, if there is anyone out there who is pressured, who is uh, who is having to shoulder all the responsibilities or expectation, then do you're some, not alone. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone, and then yes. try to do something that um, that proves to your parents or whoever it is that's pressuring you that that is like wh whatever they think or perceive to be is not the only way mm -hmm. and then there are so many other ways to do things mm -hmm. yeah. our life doesn't just revolve around government job right yeah. there is so yeah. much to explore if you're good in singing go for it if you're good in designing clothes and jewelry go mm. for it this is how i encourage the young people and i can see one two people pursuing actually pursuing their dreams and living their best lives and obviously change don't happen overnight it takes mm. time but hopefully hopefully mm. someday we can see our, our society our nadmin society exploring like anything for that you and i the youngsters we we all are responsible let's do whatever we can and the only way to be succeed in life is hard work whatever it is Put your heart and soul together, and success is on the way, knocking at your door, right? Yeah. So uh, let's put that aside. It's kind of a bit frustrating, right? Very Talking about actually, all yeah. those things. <laughs> so let's talk about sexual orientation. Because mm, why yeah. I want to ask you, uh, particularly with this question, is that you are representing the whole um, male culture in, in the platform, in the glamorous platform, right? Mm. Uh, we see that the, the pageantry or all this um, runway, the models, um, the, the, it's um, dominated by the women folk and mm. we hardly see men. And if any guy participating in all these events, we say, are they gay? <laughs> are they CC? Mm -hmm. No, it's yeah. not that. You can be straight, you can be a gentleman and still participate in that. And That's also, true. We are living in an era of uh, what do we call um, digital world. Mm -hmm. Every information is in our fingertips. We are adopting the Western culture, the way we dress, our living standard, the food mm -hmm. that we eat. At the same time, this LGBT the culture, it's rampant in our society. Yeah, but we are too afraid to bring up in the limelight and talk mm -hmm. about so as you represent the whole culture in mm. the pageantry world i think you'll be the right person to talk about the sexual orientation so hopefully share me your opinion on that <laughs> i i i don't think i'm uh l yeah like you mentioned i don't think I, I i might be the right person to be asking this uh question or like if i can give a valid answer to that but uh, for me everything in life revolves around acceptance, being kind, being positive. Mm -hmm. And then, the I always say this, even on my social media handles or whatever it is, uh, if I can engage with people, what I tell them is, um, the world is already like harsh enough, mm -hmm. and then we don't need to make it any more harder. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to people of different se sexual orientation, I, I advise the youngsters or whoever is willing to listen that, uh, Let's not look at them as men and women, mm -hmm. but look at them through the eyes of a human. Mm -hmm. Look at them as humans and then treat them as humans. Mm -hmm. and st instead, when you start looking at someone as a man or as a woman, like a man liking a man or a woman liking a woman, you end up judging them. Yeah. And then. That's true. Yeah. So just perceive them as humans, treat them as humans, and then th that is all about it. Um, for me, my personal belief is that, okay, our Noga people, we are actually quite homophobic. <laughs> That's what I believe in. 
for me, me, um, I believe that we should actually accept them. Uh-huh. We should give them love, kindness, positivity. We should ac- accept them into our lives, into our society, uh, make them feel wanted. Of course, there uh, I have come across me being straight, uh-huh. and then um, being exposed to social media. Uh-huh. I, I have come across uh, quite a number of uh, very vulgar, actually vulgar texts or messages or DMs and all that from. Um, yeah, from fr- from people of the same gender, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I try to approach them in the most uh, polite manner, mm-hmm. trying to make them understand that uh, there are actually um, boundaries mm-hmm. between us. Of course, when 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 uh, sexual orientation comes into question, there are certainly meant to be boundaries that needs to be respected. So, not everyone, but a fragment of this community. Mm-hmm. They fail to respect uh, the boundary. Mm-hmm. So, for example, a gay man would break that boundary, and then for someone like me, mm-hmm. actually taking my example, that person would come approach me in such a manner where it's breaking all of my boundaries, and then if I react in in any manner that is a uh, rude or harsh, harsh mm-hmm. then I am given the take of being homophobic mm-hmm. and that is not right you're just playing the victim card right mm-hmm. so I would say that the people should be accepting mm-hmm. be positive be kind but also for the um, LGBTQ community to be more respectable mm-hmm. at least respect uh, the fact that of course there are different uh, orientations and then not everyone is uh, compatible with each other, mm-hmm. right? So even even among the straight people, like uh, a man and a woman may, may not be compatible with each other. Mm-hmm. Maybe s- the, that man m- might be compatible with some other woman, but not that woman. Mm-hmm. Just in that manner, one uh, person may not be compatible with that other person, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then especially the boundaries that, that have been set up shouldn't be broken in any manner. That, that is where all the respect lies. Mm-hmm. And then that, that respect shouldn't be taken away or given away in, in any manner or under any circumstances. Mm-hmm. That's what I believe in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, I think uh, when, when this to- topic is being talk- talked about, uh, respect is all that needs to be maintained. Yeah, it should be in balance. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, uh, that balance being tilted results in clashes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's about most of it. That's uh, that's my perspective on it. If I if I happen to talk about this, it's uh, it might be co- quite controversial as well because uh, views are quite personal, and then mm-hmm. uh, some people might agree to it, some may not. Mm-hmm. But yeah, be. For, for for people like us, be accepting, be love, uh, be full of love and positivity. For the other people, be be respectful. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and opinions. I feel like like you've mentioned, the world is already too cruel, too harsh. Mm-hmm. So let's not make it harder. <laughs> um, the best way to to make the world a better place is to be kind to mm-hmm. one another. This is the one word, the key word that I often heard from the one woman that I really look up to, mm. Ellen DeGeneres, reason wow. why I also started my own show. He opened and closed the show with Be Kind to One Another. Mm. And I really adore, admire, and look up to this woman. And she also married another woman. Wow. So uh, okay. people start yeah. judging them, but they cannot because she's the kindest person in the entire world. I would be wrong if I say that. <laughs> so <laughs> I um, thank you so much for sharing your, your thoughts. Hey, I have, I'm having so much fun today with you. <laughs> Despite your busy schedule, you turn up. And then for one last time, let me ask you 
about that mentality of our people. We often criticized or, you know, talk ill about our government. There is this culture, apology culture coming up. I hope after this interview, we don't have to write any apology letter. <laughs> but then tell me a little bit about the government or the administration. <laughs> I don't need, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start or where to end my note mm -hmm. when this um, particular topic is like, brought up. So, yeah, let's start with the government. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Who can say that the Nagaland government is the good? best? Yeah. <laughs> Who is not even there the best? To say? Is, it, is it even good? <laughs> yeah, so. It, it might uh, it might receive some backlash, but I would say that uh, the government is bad. Of course, it's bad. Quite evidently, like mm -hmm. the development, the progress that we we have made since our independence, mm -hmm. nothing has been um, progressive. Actually, <laughs> we I I think I've mentioned this even earlier. Mm -hmm. We Nagas in our culture of hogging. Mm -hmm. uh, Everybody is selfish. Everybody wants to make their life easier instead of uh, uplifting each other, and that is where all the problem lies. And I think uh, it's not solely the government that should be blamed. It's uh, also the public. Mm -hmm. We public. I sometimes I fail to understand, and sometimes I happen to understand that. Uh, Election comes once in five years, mm -hmm. and then during this time, they try to hawk everything that's given to them. Mm -hmm. The public are trying to just um, accumulate all the privileges, mm -hmm. temporary privileges given to them. Mm -hmm. And then once the election goes by, the politicians who are elected gets busy into accumulating or recovering the amount or like the wealth they have invested in, in the election and then that is where all the corruption is sprouting from the mm -hmm. the, the, the culture of uh, giving and recovering no? mm -hmm. yeah so development is being stagnant <laughs> yeah, it has been seized uh, the public they sell their votes yet they complain mm -hmm. and then the mentality itself, the, the whole mentality of uh, our Nagas, uh, we're quite toxic, very much toxic. I, it's quite saddening to say that um, everybody thinks, um, yeah, they think they know what is best for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, not only that, but they think they know what is best for others as well. And that, that, that is the most toxic um, trade that a human can have like i i guess mm -hmm. because uh all of us are living different lives we're having to go through different things at different phases different time so why why not be just kind and then accepting like i mentioned uh why not do away with the judgmental mentality mm -hmm. if somebody does something that is not good this is not good that is that this is that no mm -hmm. we 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 have that mentality we judge we try to find fault in each other mm -hmm. we try to break each other down in, instead of promoting each other we are trying to confine ourselves into a society that is almost overrun with corruption uh, immoralities and then i think um uh, the proper term to use uh as well as uh, there are so many factions, so many groups, associations, um, uh, group, like like mentioned, all, all this, and then my God, unions and all that unnecessary amount, like amount of uh, these people coming together and then forming something which is totally unnecessary, like not necessary at all. It's not needed. The society doesn't need you that's what i would say if you need to approach something go to the specific field like that specific subject whoever is in charge of that matter and then go resolve that matter with them mm -hmm. instead what they do is 
try to form a union, a group mm -hmm. or something, giving an, another, uh, like giving rise to another group. And then they would fight for something like quite vigorously in the initial period. Mm -hmm. And then it slowly it starts fading away. Mm -hmm. Th that is how we Nagas have lost our weight of word, our, mm -hmm. our weight of uh, our, our, our sense of purpose actually. We have we have sold it. We don't have a touch with it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if you want, if you want to make any changes, if you want to make any uh, impact in society, then why wait for anybody else? Change yourself first. Yes. Be the first just, person yeah. to start the good deeds. And just change good yourself. Example. Come on, like uh, there, there's no one who's willing to take up the baton and then s s start beating. Mm -hmm. No, everybody wants some, someone, someone to they can follow mm -hmm. in the footsteps of. But then if somebody comes up, they they have something to say about that person. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to go up. Nobody wants to come down. They just want to be in, in their own confined space and world, passing on those toxic negative uh, words and then breaking each other down. I don't know if uh, Winagas as a society, as a, as a state, we're even yet to grow. Because um, very much unfortunately, we, we have been fed with uh, corruption. We, we, we have been so corrupted that it's going to take a lot, a lot more time to eradicate all these, uh, all these things. So yeah, um, if we talk about it, it's a uh, it becomes it's going to take all day. Yeah, it's, it's going to take the whole day, and then I might even run out of force to even address this subject. Mm -hmm. But I I would just say that uh, change yourself first. Yeah, yeah, change yourself first, and then maybe start living in such a manner where you are actually proud of yourself when you look into the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, be be that person. Otherwise, uh, don't don't be someone who hides behind a facade and then pretends to be someone else you're not yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that, that's it thank you again <laughs> uh, why i asked you this question is that nagaland is known for you know nagaland for christ mm -hmm. the, the christian yeah. state but are we of living the living standard erections <laughs> and everything don't really describe christianity right mm. which is why i um bring this topic in the limelight mm. <laughs> i i am pretty sure our conversation was up to mark uh, like you've mentioned if you want to change the world go back and change yourself first mm -hmm. and be the good person you want others to be right in yeah. that way i think we can live in a better world yeah, we can actually create a better world for you ourselves really think about it um see we nagas we like you mentioned uh, we 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 say nagaland for christ mm -hmm. nagaland for christ and all that our mentality uh we want everything to be western but back home, nothing is Western, mm -hmm. and that, that is where all the contradiction starts. Mm -hmm. The mentality itself. We're so toxic that we think ourselves to be the best, mm -hmm. yet we fail to recognize what, what is better for us. Uh, or like that mentality itself is stopping us from learning mm -hmm. from others. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, just. The, the living standard itself is uh, quite immoral actually, mm -hmm. today's society, mm -hmm. quite evident as well. Um, youngsters living, living their life as if it's their best mm -hmm. by doing things which are not meant to be done. Mm -hmm. Or even um, the older ones um, being nothing of an encouragement but more, more of a dis discouragement to the, to the youngsters. Uh, always going on and on about what has happened in their generation rather than what is, need to yeah, be done. what is need to be done in this generation or passing down the knowledge of what needs to be done in that correct manner mm -hmm. so yeah we the the knowledge itself is not being transitioned from one phase to another mm -hmm. we're, we're not willing to exchange 
uh, what we I know with you and what you know with me. Mm -hmm. We're not willing to do that exchange. And how are we supposed to grow as a society? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, first of all, the youngsters are. Uh, my my advice to them would be embrace your culture, mm -hmm. learn to respect it. Mm -hmm. There are so many youngsters, of course, idealizing uh, things like, um, for, forgetting the name, the Korean band, uh, BTS, BTS, mm -hmm. yeah. Quite BTS, like idealizing them, oh come on, who doesn't do that, no? Mm -hmm. Like even for me, I am a very big fan of uh, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Metallica and all this, Dire Straits. I am a fan, I'm a big fan. Anytime their music plays, I would actually sing along with them. Mm -hmm. But but then, going up to the extent of learning their language where you don't even know how to speak your own dialect properly, that's, that's foolishness. Mm -hmm. Going up to the extent of uh, making sacrifices that you wouldn't do for your family. For your own to, people. Yeah. For, and then... Uh, uh, no haters, <laughs> but um, I've seen videos on Facebook and all that, um, people celebrating a band member's birthday somewhere here in the outskirts in Nagaland in Manipur or somewhere. So does it even make sense? <laughs> I don't know. That, that could have been turned into something productive. Mm -hmm. That could have been turned into something that would have made somebody happy. Mm -hmm. Instead, uh, they just squander it. So learn to embrace your culture, n learn your roots first, mm -hmm. stay grounded, mm -hmm. be rooted. Mm -hmm. And then I think as long as you do that, you will be respected. As long as you are a man or a woman of uh, identity, mm -hmm. as long as you your sense of identity is not lost and then if it is strong in you, then people will obviously yeah, respect yeah, you. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they are going to respect you for who you are. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're trying to go out there and then find something that you, you're not even remotely a part of. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I can't, like, I, I don't even know how to term it, but uh, just say, I would just say that it, it is um, pure foolishness on display. Yeah, so be, be grounded, be rooted, be, be true to your culture. Uh, listen to your elders. Mm -hmm. They have so so much to share. We have so much to learn. We have so much to impart knowledge yes. and wisdom. Yes, and then mm -hmm. we we are slowly starting to lose on our sense of identity itself. Mm -hmm. uh, like said, this um, LGBTQ community and all that. Um, I I had never even heard of it until I was in class eight, mm -hmm. and then on, on, only then I only. Um, I got to know that that exists through movies, music videos and all that. And then that is something that came from the Western society, mm -hmm. I believe. It, it, might, it might be something to do with your mentality, your hormones or what and what not, but uh, it, it was not as evident as it is today. Huh? Mm -hmm. So come on, like just learn, learn who you are first, learn you, who you are first, where you belong where you came from mm -hmm. and I think everything should be sorted mm -hmm. if you do that mm -hmm. and then yeah um, first learn to adjust yourself in such a manner where you are in equilibrium with what you came from what you are at home what you your society is mm -hmm. then to think of yourself to be something bigger or even smaller no? mm -hmm. don't do that don't develop that inferiority or like a superiority complex just be, be yourself. Yeah, be, be yourself. True to yourself. Mm. And then think yourself of someone as equally capable of um, contributing to society. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, that that'll 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 be a message for me. Otherwise, um, if we keep going down this lane, then I think we're we're about to hit a dead end very soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, thank you again and whatever you're sharing will be, you know, a lesson to the viewers. Mm, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching the show till the end. Tanoto Jamomi, first ever <laughs> Global Mr. Naglin. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, hello guys and then um, to end the 
not for today's episode i would like to bring up uh, the topic of personality which is very much a part of um, our daily life and then which is very much overlooked actually so being a human your personality is something that's going to carry you further into life and uh, it is why i say it is overlooked is because uh, we never talk think much about how or what our personality is but uh, me being from this pageant world i've learned to understand that your personality is what carries you every day of your life it is uh, something that you apply in everything that you do from the way you sit the way you talk the way you stand to everything about you as a person that uh, demands or asks for respect or love kindness or, or whatever it is that you want from another person comes along with your personality your personality matters and then to develop your personality it should be a priority that uh, you shouldn't be overlooking whereas uh, try to be a person who maintains the personality and character in such a manner that you uh, you don't look down on yourself you have a sense of purpose you have a sense of identity uh, I would just like to convey my message that um, maintain that personality be a good person be kind be loving always be the reason for someone to believe in miracles and then yeah uh, like said the importance of personality and then personality development it's a course you can always uh, go to the internet and then find some resources on that or approach some institution where they give crash courses or courses on personality development because uh, for your job interview or for interacting with someone on a social event or anything that is life itself that is where your personality comes in that is where your personality is applicable so yeah just uh, do your best keep living your best and then also um, just, I, I hope that everybody strives well do well and then we'll just be a better better human for a better tomorrow also if you enjoyed the show please subscribe to pp chonglai talk show and yeah i hope to see a better world together thank you